Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cambridge United FM22 save here on the Chesno Plays channel. If you go on to enjoy this video, as ever, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll never miss another video. If you follow the Twitch link down below as well and come and join me live, you'll never miss a stream and you'll see everything that goes on behind the scenes in this save. Yesterday, or at least yesterday in real life, in the stream, not sure when the videos are going up, but hopefully as soon as possible, uh, in the last stream, in the last video, uh, we finished the league season, we finished in 14th, and we're very, very, actually very, very pleased with how we've done this season. The season preview had us down in 22nd, and they thought we were going to get relegated. Well, guess what? We didn't, and we weren't even close. 21 points, 21 points away from the relegation zone, and we were only... 13 points away from the playoffs. So we are much closer to the playoffs than we were the relegation zone. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Today, in this episode and in this stream, uh, we're going to be working our way through the summer transfer window. We did a season roundup at the end of the last video. And in this one, we're going to be pushing forward with a transfer window. We do have some money to spend. Not a massive amount. But £80,000 at this level is okay. And £18,000 a week wage budget is really good. So we should be able to bring in a number of players with that. We average about, I don't know, about three to four thousand. No, probably not even that. Probably not even three to four thousand pounds a week. Our highest earner is two thousand eight hundred pounds. So obviously, to in, to bring in the quality we'd want, we'll have to pay slightly more, around about that sort of figure. But that would, given that that's the situation the side are in, you'd imagine that we could bring in at least five players on three to three and a half thousand pounds a week. And if they're all of first team quality, then we've really improved. So, like I say, drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more. And uh, we will crack on with the stream. And I'll see you in the next edit. We looked at Masterson on loan, but they want a lot of money. They want a lot for him. I don't know whether they changed their tune a bit. They want me to pay all of his wages and £16,000 a month. That's one hundred and sixty grand for the year just in a loan fee. When you think our overall our overall balance is that's like ten percent of the club's overall bank balance just to loan in one player, then add on top of that his wages as well, which will be, I mean, three and a half grand a week is fourteen grand a month. That's not one hundred first. That's basically a three hundred thousand pound transfer. That's that's too much. That's too much. I'm afraid. Absolutely no interest in signing another new contract. Harrison. Why? Uh, you made me sad. Please. There's no way. There's no way that happened in real life. Single tear. Where's... No! Where's... No! Where's... No! No! I'm gonna... I'm gonna ask him to reconsider his retirement. If I... Do you think if we sing at him? If, if we sing at him, will he stay? Oh, hula and his magic, he wears a magic hat. He could have hung his boots up, but he said no, fuck that. He plays it to the left side, he plays it to the right. And he's our Irish Messi and he's fucking dynamite. Oh, please, Wes. Please stay for one more year at least. Please stop late for 73 months. Wait, when did you start streaming again? Yesterday. <laughs> Welcome back and hi there. Hello, mate. Good to have you back, my man. No, Wes. Oh, rip. F, F in chat for respects to Wes's football career. Press F in chat to pay your respects to Wes's footballing career. Wes Houlihan has come to a final decision regarding his future and has indeed decided to call it a day and retire. Yeah! Oh, who the hand is magic? He wears magic cap. Where's he? He's our under 18s coach. And he's our under 18s coach, and he's fucking dynamite. Oh! Code of conduct we're fine with. Pre season team meeting. Right, we'll stick with what we said before. Ready to avoid relegation. Give the FA Cup everything we've got. Brilliant. Don't want to make any promises. 
Good. Everybody's happy. Everybody's thrilled. Everybody's delighted. We can't wait to get going. Exceptional morale. Perfect for Dimmy. Good response to the scout. Whoa. Barry Simmons. Where have you come from? 13 player ability, 16 player potential. He was a scout at Crystal Palace. Chief scout at Norwich. Uh, hello, sign for me, please. Look, I, I can't. I'll give you it for a longer year. Get in. How good was it? That's like Premier League level. That's a Premier League level scout. And so it begins, gentlemen. And so it begins. It's time to have a look. All right, Brennan Dickinson. <sighs> Might be all right. This is a guy I was keen on for centre-back. Jan Songoto. At Bradford. Had a cracking season at Bradford. Has played at League One level recently as well with Plymouth. Ah, it's probably going to be a no for him. Unless he grows. Yeah. Gary Medina apparently will be an absolute banger. No surprises there. Joel Lopez was the kid from Arsenal. Sam Shering. I need to see their stuff. No, I can't. I, can't. I just can't. It's not... Sorry, Sam. I know we've literally just signed you in real life. There you go. Simmons is in. Good squad player. And he can play it right back, actually, intriguingly. Will Fish, he's supposed to be really good, isn't he? Wanted by 29 clubs. Yeah, I'm going to... Very keen on joining Cambridge. Will Fish, he's supposed to be really good, isn't he? Talk to me. He is very good. Fringe player. Wouldn't want much a week. One year extension. Please sign for me, Will Fish. He has signed for me, Will Fish. Oh, hello. Those mentals, though, at 19. Welcome, sir. There you go. Simons is going to go on loan to Bolton. I think a year's full loan, full season's experience for Simons at Bolton, and he might be first team next year. Right, so Gaetan Bong. Gaetan Bong will be really solid. I know he's 34, but Gaetan Bong would be absolutely superb. Oh, I don't know about Luke Bolton as a right mid. Really not sure. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's, it, it, it terminates tomorrow anyway. Joe Matic's good, but he doesn't have the physicals anymore, whereas Gaetan Bong does have the physicals still. I know they don't want me to sign old players, but I have a funny feeling that Gaetan Ball might be a really good go-to. Lucas Stevenson, again, might he might be someone to sign for the future, but I'm not sure. He's got good mentors, though, Lucas Stevenson. Sam 
Sarabia. Everyone's either not quite there or too good. I'm going to try and sign Guy Tambong as well, I think. I could offer him a staff. I could offer him a staff role only. No, 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 no. Come play for me, pal. Fucking hell. Thank you, Reese, for the 53rd month, mate. Appreciate it, dude. I shall see you in a moment. I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to keep Idel as a backup. I want to keep you around. No intention of staying in my contract is running out. I won't sign a new one. So you probably try and sign where you can. <sighs> okay, he's happy. He's happy to leave at the end of his... Okay, I'm happy enough with that. I'm still going to keep him here for... We're still going to keep him, Idel, here for another season. Because we haven't had as much as much luck as I was hoping we were going to with the free signings, to be fair. I don't doubt that Toby Civic is good, Alec. He just wouldn't sign for me. Gaitan Bong will, though. Good. We have a new starting left back. The fan reaction is good. I'm not sure what the board would say. Because they didn't want me to sign players that are over the age of 30. Or did they change their... They changed. Oh, they changed. It, it was on a, they've it's not there anymore ah oh, fuck's sake to be fair though if I sign to manage to manage Kov, I'm not gonna need him who've we signed so far we have signed Xavier Simmons or Xavier Simons from uh, Chelsea he's now gone out on loan to Bolton we signed will fish on a free from Manchester United which is Phenomenal. And Gaetan Bong from Brighton. No, from Forest. As a starting left back. But I need more. I want more. Ah. He's only 22 though. Is he going to grow? I mean, as a squad, as a squad player, as a squad player, I can't not really. You can play, you can play midfield. I don't mind playing him as a Metzala. Bring in a suitable player to help him settle. Come on. Minimum release cost 3.6 mil. You're more than welcome, pal. Okay, the squad is starting to fill out. The squad's starting to fill out. Yeah, really, really, really pleased with the signing of... Um... Well, please just play further back, Danny. I think, I think, how many players is that? 20. 20 is still a small squad. Uh, he, he is the ex or the Chelsea player. Yes, Michael. He's now ex Chelsea, obviously. Well, you're not having to pay anything. I'm not saying you need to play him at all. Just, I don't want him. No! Fuck off! Good, he's going to sign for me. Yes! Oh, Tomenichikov's going to sign as well! Let's go! It's all come together right at the end. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Yes! Tomenichikov's in. That's absolutely superb. Right, Ben Warman sends you out on loan. Tomenichikov looks really, really, really good. So I'll play, I'll play him up top with Sam Smith, and Nibsey will actually be back up, probably. I don't know what's going to happen to Joey Ironside, though. That's the problem now. But I'll have four strikers that are capable of doing a job.
Tents and Weir as an option off the bench. I'll start Diggers and um, I'll start Diggers and Tariq. I think I think I'm relatively happy with where the squad is now. I think I, we might make a loan signing later in the window, like halfway through August, if we find out that we're lacking somewhere. But I think I'm pretty happy with that now. It all come together right at the end, hasn't it? And we've only got as far as the 18th of July. But that's all come together. Thank you for the follow, Jake. And Liverpool for life. I think that's going to do us for this stream, then. I think that's going to do us for, the, for today. I am live again tomorrow. So do make sure you're following the Twitch channel if you aren't already. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for joining me. I'm not sure how long this video will be. There's been a lot happen. I've been streaming for three and a half hours. But I don't know how best to edit that into a video. So it's going to take me probably about three and a half hours to edit it all together. But for now, that's all for this YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Chesno Plays channel. Make sure you drop the video a like and follow me over on Twitch and you can come and watch these live. But for now, that's all for this YouTube video. Thank you very much, boys. I'll see you next time.